Welcome to Unscripted Coding. Today, we're going to be looking at OpenAI again. And in particular, we're going to be playing around with GPT-3 and creating our own API for it. Now, um, let's go through the basics. What is it? Well, OpenAI has a natural language processing model called GPT-3. It is incredibly popular and opened up a lot of different applications. If that made no sense to you whatsoever, basically it allows a computer to respond and speak in English. Yes, I don't know what's happening back there. It's looking at patterns. It's not really thinking like a human brain, but um, if we ask it to write a short rhyming poem about the law of contracts, oops, um, it will give it some best shot. So uh, adored, ignored, um, this is a good effort, better than anything I can come up with, let's be honest. So, um, you can use a playground, and we've done that before, but today what I want to do is create my own API that uses um, GPT-3. Now, you might be asking, why would you do this? OpenAI themselves have their own API. So, if you were... Uh, building, <clears throat> if you wanted to do anything really, I think a great place to start is actually the playground. So I've used this to write bits and pieces of blog posts of actual contracts to answer certain questions, to summarize, rewrite different texts. It's very powerful and one of the best things is you can just throw it into this playground as soon as you build you sign up for an account and and you can start running it um, no programming no complicated uh, no complicated processes <clears throat> the other um, usual route to do this is if you're building your own app you would just use the code that um, that is available right here. Uh, you know, you send them the prompt. OpenAI has their own API that you can connect to and send things over. Now, the reason I want to um, build my own API, that's just an overlay of this. So basically, you send it to my API, some sort of command, and it will send another command to the OpenAI uh, API and it'll funnel it back. It's just an additional step. But the whole reason behind it is so that I can mask the OpenAI open AI API key and also to add certain things to a prompt that is not seen by everyone else. So uh, writing good prompts for GPT-3 is kind of an art in itself and be able to get the answers you're looking for. So uh, I'm putting this middle step to make sure that the API key isn't seen and also that I can modify and, and add certain pieces to a prompt in between that is invisible to the user. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to do this by going into Visual Studio Code, uh, creating an Azure Functions app and using um, uh, and and building that out. So uh, we've done this before. Uh, you can see the Edge Highlight API and Rocket API that we've built in the past. It's going to be a very, very similar process. Now I'm going to be stretching my memory a little bit. It's often quite terrible, but I'm going to create a function app right now. And it's going to be open API. Um, let's go Azure Open API. Open AI GPT-3 API. Oh, yeah. Let's go with this. Uh, we'll use 3.7, no real reason. Let's create a new resource group. That seems to make sense. US West. Uh, consumption is the free plan, so we'll go with that. Create a new storage account, same thing and we don't need an application insights. Okay, so one of the most important things you want to do as a good programmer, professional or not, because I am clearly not that 
not professional, not paid, um, is to have a good library of things that have worked well. <clears throat> so you can see that I have a list of various projects that I've used in the past. And I'm looking for one in particular that's not showing up. So here we go. Okay, so um, this has been created, but I am going to open another workspace right here. So I have kept a bunch of Azure uh, patterns I've used. Fast API is one that I keep using because uh, it is a great way to create your own API with Python code. So um, <clears throat> I have another window right here with uh, some basic Uh, pattern. So what did I do here? I should probably... Okay. One moment. I'm going to copy this entire folder over. Alright. I am going to shut off my volume for a sec. Okay. So that took just one moment. I had to um, I don't know what that is. I had to move uh, from that old folder that I had and I moved it over so that we can see uh, these various things. Uh, I basically copied the folder and deleted a few things. Now, uh, let's go back to that OpenAI code. Import OS, import OpenAI. We'll move this out of the way. We want these definitely and let's just copy this um, what's happening here okay I am just gonna remove this we don't need this we don't need this okay Um, under requirements.txt, we're going to have to add open, of course you don't want to cap blocks in it, open AI so that we can in install the uh, open AI's API. That way we'll have this available. We're going to have to put down what my key is, but I'm going to get a prompt. And this was a bad reason to delete. Um, We'll just reset here. We'll need to deal with this. So uh, to do, put in API key, and then we're gonna create a, uh, we're going to send an API, they're gonna create that, and then they'll return the response. So test, and I'll return response. Okay. Um, I am keeping this here for now because I wanna know um, what string you want in the prompt. So you would be able to input a prompt and I'd be able to spit this out. Optional is also really important because I might want to add some ability to change these optional um, parameters, whether it's temperature, tokens, what have you. <clears throat> so let's, let's try this out really quick and see how this looks. So it's going to start installing the build. Bunch of things being installed here. OpenAI gets installed. It's going to get installed and I am just preparing take in. Okay, maybe I should pause this for now. Okay, um, I took a bit of a break. Uh, I had to move out of the way because 
turns out my uh, virtual environment folder seemed to be corrupted. So it created all these weird issues with uh, Azure Function Core tools, but um, we can ignore that. All I had to do was create a brand new uh, virtual environment and then install everything in that requirements folder. But I'm gonna go over here Hope that's not my secret here. One moment. Good. Um, no, it was not. Uh, okay, so. How do I get this here? Text completion, model, choices, text. Wonder what that means. Uh, finish reason. Okay. Let's go back into view code. Response completion API. Okay. Mm, API reference. Very good. Making request. So when we get it done, um, the response should be in text. So under choices and text. Now what did I send here? Write a short poem. Okay, uh, let's try this one more time. Probably didn't need to do that. Refresh this, and text is nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop and see what the issue is here. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I done a, I did a couple different things. Uh, first of all, I put the API key in a secrets.py file. Um, you could put it in the OS environment. That's probably better practice, but I'm okay here. Um, next thing I did was I used fast API and I created slash request slash prompt. What happens when you go to that page now is it runs that open that that code that we had before it creates a model and i put in a whole bunch of optional but defaulted uh defaulted uh, parameters here so that you have the temperature max tokens blah 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 um we've also chosen the model i suppose i can make that optional as well but i'll leave it alone i like the the da vinci model um and then i get prompt so here, I just put in legal contracts because um, that tends to be what I'm doing right now. Um, but there are secret sauces, so I want to put in uh, a variety of keywords that kind of clue in GPT-3 so that it understands that this is a legal context that we're doing, um, you know, whatever it is. And if you have different usage, uh, you may want to put other things into your prompt to say, you know, this is meant for a comic book, a dialogue, those types of things, and then you're going to add the prompt afterwards. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to return the full response from OpenAI, then just the text that we care about. And if we go over here, I'll just refresh. You can see that we're going to this local page. We're going to do a request and the prompt is just confidential. Now you would never put this into a URL, really. You'd run it through um, 
some other text where you can put a long string, but when it's a URL, it doesn't handle spaces very well. It doesn't handle commas, periods, and so on. But you can see that it's trying to fill it in with, I don't know, uh, confidentiality agreements, non-disclosure agreements, partnership agreements. It's trying to figure out the rest of it. So it looks like it thinks that I'm doing a list of contracts. Okay, so. Next thing we're going to do is just deploy it because I think we are ready to go. So I'm going to go back over here. Um, and I am going to change this afterwards, by the way, because it does cost money to run these queries. But I'm just going to deploy it and see where we go. Uh, that's the one. It'll overwrite everything. Make sure we do it properly. And by the end of it, we're going to have a nice URL that we can go to. So I'm just going to pause again. And we're almost there. Let's take a look. Oops. Uh, let's go over here. And switch to request poem fingers crossed this works might take a moment to actually run and there you have it <laughs> yeah this is pretty great uh to make sure our count contract Agreement is sound and true. I'll write it down in verse to make it stand. A contract of our love in words so true, binding us together hand in hand, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, very simply, I can now put this into my apps, my websites, and so on, and allow myself to run it through without exposing my key, without exposing the secret sauce. It all comes into this black box of my Azure function to mask all of that. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, remember that OpenAI does cost money, so I, I will not be exposing this generally, and uh, you can keep trying, but this, this won't be around for very long. And um, yeah, have fun with it. There are so, so many cool things you can do. Um, let's just write a haiku poem to end this off. Oops. Perfect. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.